This is Tim DeLeo. I go by DeLeo56 on Tri5.com. What I'm going to do is show you today a quick video on how to install a bracket and disc brake setup on the front of your Tri5. Uh, this is a 56 frame, but as you know, uh, with the exception of the horns and a couple of small things for maybe wagons or 55 shackles, uh, they're all basically the same, especially the front ends. We've got a stock uh, spindle here with a stock steering arm. I've got everything else uh, loose and taken off. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit uh, what it looked like before we put it together, but basically at this point we're ready to go. So we've got this uh, stock spindle, it's got the stock arm here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, because uh, I've already got these hand tight, is just take off the bolts that were holding the steering arm on. This will go back on in a moment, but we will get all of this off and then I'll show you uh, the next step with this. steering arm is off, ready to go, and I've got the bolts out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install this kit. This is uh, kit number 307. This is from a, a really good company called ABS Power Break. Uh, they're here in Southern California. This is a zero offset kit, which means after we're done, uh, we're going to have a zero offset, which means the wheel's not going to move out at all like some of the other kits. Also, this kit is made for 14-inch uh, rims. Uh, which means I don't have to worry about any type of uh, rim hitting or anything else like that, so I can run any rims I want. Also, for those of you that run uh, 57s, uh, if you're running the stock rims, those are 14, so this kit will work well. Uh, one thing about this kit, it will throw the calipers on the front, uh, which is not typically the way you see it, uh, but it will work, uh, and that is the way the kit was designed for that. The kit comes with a lot of different parts. It uh, comes with the brackets, the caliper and brake pads, the hose and all the hardware that you need, including the rotor. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get started. I'll kind of just walk you through it and we'll go from there. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, make sure that I've got all the parts. Uh, I've got them all here and I've got all my tools hopefully ready to go. Next thing what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've disassembled the front spindles completely. I've got, of course, the backing plate's been uh, taken off, the brake shoes and drum, uh, drums and everything else. Everything's been clean. Uh, this is a new setup, so I've got everything powder coated and we are good to go. Next thing I'm going to do is install the caliper bracket. Now the caliper bracket comes in two pieces. It comes in a piece that goes over the top of the caliper, or uh, top of the uh, spindle, and then it's got another piece that bolts on like this. So you can see here that it keeps everything uh, in the stock configuration and that's where it goes. Now one of the things to remember is, is that with this kit specifically, when we have the arm on, the arm, the steering arm, is going to actually prevent us from installing the caliper on the rear side like you typically see. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to spin this bracket backwards and have the caliper on the front. Now uh, the brakes will still work fine, it's just not typically the way you would see it on setups, but that's the way this kit is designed. It actually has a note that says the brackets are reversible. So we'll do the first things first and we'll put the lower piece on. To do that we have all of our hardware here. I've got some different bolts. I've got a short bolt and I've got a long bolt. So we're going to put the short bolt in and the long bolt in. Those will go all the way through. If I get them correct, there are different sides. The long bolt is going to go on the rear part. It's going to feed through like this. And the reason is, is because as you can see with the steering arm, I've got a thicker and a thinner spot here. So this just goes on like that. And we are good to go with that. It's got a couple of nuts here. Now these are the metal nuts that have the self, um, self sealing end on them, which means you don't need any um, washers or anything like that on those. So we will just go ahead and put those on. Give me a moment here. I will speed up the tape and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, now I've got these tightened up. Uh, they're good to go with that. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to put on the brake caliper bracket. And again, as you can see here, the way it fits, fits perfectly flush with this. And it came with also with the two bolts that we need with the self-locking tops. These are different sizes, but they do the same thing. So we put one in. And then we put the other one in. So they're in like that. Get them threaded. And now we are set. Now again, you can see how everything fits on here. Uh, it looks good, it fits good. 
Uh, I'm going to speed it up again just now, and then I'm going to uh, get these okay. tightened up. So now we've got that ready to go. So we've got the brackets done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the rotor, and then we're going to make sure that everything else is good. Now I have already pre-greased the rotor, uh, the, uh, the bearings. So what I did was, is I already packed the wheel bearings, and those are going to go in. So including the seal that we have here onto the rotor. So I'm going to do that in the background here. And it goes on like that. Now I've got to keep this level. I don't want it to drop down too much. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in my front bearing. And now I am set. Style it. I put on my washer. Okay, I've got that. And then it came with a new nut. So I'm going to put the nut on here and get it good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it not super tight, but I'm going to get it finger tight. And then I'm going to do a quick check to make sure that everything's even and working well. So right now, uh, you can see, maybe there you can see, everything is straight and real clean. And my bearings are doing really well. Oops, some junk out of the way here. Now I'm going to grab my socket, which is a 1 and 16 and I'm going to put it on ready to go. Now here's, um, this is how I do it. This is by the instruction manual, but you can do it the way you want to do it. go through and put in my cotter pin. So give me just a second. So what's the next step? The next step now is after I've done all of this and after everything's been done, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to install the caliper. Now the caliper is pretty cool. Uh, I went through and I uh, disassembled it and I painted it red with caliper paint, but it's just a standard uh, caliper. These bolts are going to be going through the caliper and connecting behind it. And then it's got a um, a, uh, basically a washer that's set up in here with a uh, rubber grommet that keeps everything together. And then these are going to go through the other side. Now they are directional, so you want to make sure that you're doing these on the right sides. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first one here. And then I'm going to put in the next spot here. So how I do this, I just set it in like that. So what I've done is I've got everything set up in here. And I'm just going to check to make sure that everything goes through and feels good like that. Now, I will go through and I will tighten up the calipers. You can hear a little bit of um, the pad sitting because it's the first time. And I haven't actually used the calipers or anything like that when I do this. Uh, but we are good to go. Now, the th next thing that I'm going to do, and it's hard to see from the back, but I have a hose here with a banjo bolt and a clip that's going to go on here. So what I'm going to do is undo the bolt in the back. Now with banjo bolts, there's a hole here and then there's a hole here and then this goes in there like that. So you get the bolt, copper washer, another copper washer, and then that goes on to the brake caliper. Take everything off, get it all cleaned, ready to go put on the lower bracket, put on the upper bracket. On this kit specifically, have it face forward. Grease up your bearings, put everything in here, then put your uh, uh, rotor on, then put on the, the front or the outer uh, greased bearing, put on the washer, the nut, tighten it down, back it off a little bit, put on your cotter pin, then put on your caliper and everything, and you're ready to go in again. That's basically just perfect and it looks great. So if you have any questions, uh, check out the forum post. Again, these are from ABS Power Brake, a uh, great company, and uh, they look awesome. And again, I powder coated my brackets and I painted my calipers myself, uh, but you can talk to that company and they can hook you up with different ways of prepping them or you can even buy directly from them uh, in different colors. Tim DeLeo, I go by DeLeo56 on try5.com. Uh, thanks for joining me.